Hi, welcome to my podcast, Talking Travel with Wendy. I travel the globe interviewing really cool people in small hospitality and tourism businesses. Join me each week as I discover and share something or someone new with you. You can find more at www.travelwithwendy.net. And remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy. Join me today as I sit down and chat with new friends, Tammy and Adam, and learn and discover all about hiking the Pinhoti Trail at the Heflin Spur, and find out why Heflin is known as the town of trails. Thanks so much for joining us here today for Talking Travel with Wendy. I am here with Tammy Perry, Director of Parks and Recreation for the city of Heflin, and I'm also here with Adam Dassinger. Mr. I know everything about Penhody Trail pretty much, right? You yeah. and Rick? I, I know a lot, but I know people that actually know more. <laughs> yeah, you might recognize him from my other video, Trains and Trails in Heflin. So thanks so much for joining me and being cool. a part of t- uh, Talking Travel with Wendy. And sure. We have a gorgeous day. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. We ordered that just for you yeah. today. So where are we right now? We're at the Cahulga Creek Park, Mm -hmm. which is our, has been our little hidden secret. It's kind of getting out, but it is the most beautiful place, I think, in town. Yeah. This park has just grown and grown. Yeah. And we actually started out with an 18-hole disc golf course. Okay. That actually extends on up into the, uh, borders the Talladega National Forest. Okay. The management area. It actually goes up the hill and down uh, around some water areas. So it's a very, very, very beautiful course. Trail. Very beautiful course. People come, you know, from all over, you know, sure. to play this course. We also have added some additions. We have restrooms here. We've added this second pavilion here, which was a um, partnership with Alabama Power. Okay. Grant. And something that we have so much of here in Heflin that we could not make it without is our partnerships. We have um, the Talladega National Forest. We have Cheaha State Park. We have the school system. We have our sponsors that actually, you know, come in and, and sponsor our events. Sure. And so it, it helps us to provide all of our, our outdoor recreation programs yeah. and camps and things that we do here. Yeah, excellent. But yeah, this, this area has been more than we ever, you know, expected it to be so we just had a hiker who came up here Mm -hmm. and he started at the trailhead heflin spur has two trailheads one is city hall and one is at forest service 500 that's where that connects to to the penhody trail okay and that's where we started our hike earlier yeah and so he's walk he's walking from there all the way to to city hall approximately three and a half miles two and a half miles of that is in is either in forest service property or the park so only the last mile is is on city streets, which are nice, slow-paced yeah. neighborhood streets, so it's very safe. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So you can park in either one. There's ample parking. There's actually three places you can park. Oh, okay. You can park mm-hmm. at 500, where we were a few days ago. Mm-hmm. You can park here. Okay. Or you can park at City Hall. Okay, excellent. Mm-hmm. So you've Good got three job. different choices. Okay, and then if you make it to City Hall and they're open, you get mm-hmm. a little sticker, mm-hmm. and they want you to sign in, mm-hmm. and also... Have a picture, and yep. if the mayor's there, we'll, have, we'll take your picture with the mayor. Oh, excellent. In front of the sign out front. <laughs> we also try to help out if they need transportation. So if someone comes and they you know, they want they want to come to town, okay. they've not taken the spur, and they or at the Shell Creek Ranger Station, we'll bring them to town, to the hotel, the city hall, wherever, Okay. and, and help them out there. So yeah. You know, we've got one now that calls city hall that's making his way north. I'm, I'm sure it'll be too late for them to take the spur into town tonight, but uh, we'll go get them. We are going to go get them probably about 6 o'clock this evening at okay. the at the Forest Service 500 Trailhead, and they'll come in, and I know they're going to spend the night, so you know they're going to spend at least one night in town, I'm sure they're going to eat out somewhere. They yeah. might be supplied WM. Yep. So I say the average hiker, and Tammy, you can tell me, I would say the average hiker that comes here spends $125 probably. I have sat down and thought it's it's very, very well $100 to $200, yeah. would say, yeah, would, would yeah. be an average. Right. Right. Well, because that's great for the local economy, is, and everyone benefits from that. The mm-hmm. boutique stores, even the grocery store. Mm-hmm. If you're resupplied, you know, yeah. well, and, and then we get the hikers that they want to come back yeah. and visit, you know, not just on a hike, but they want to come back and, and visit Heflin and, and do some of the things because they can't carry a lot with yeah, them. Yeah. So when Adam came to us with his idea and Adam and Tanya, which is our economic developer, you know, 
she's like, I want to bring it on into Main Street. I want to bring it into town because she's our Main Street director. And I was like, oh, I don't know about this. Um, and she was right. I mean, everything about it was right. Yeah. Um, bringing them into town, into Main Street, we have, you know, we get to talk to if they decide this is a good place for a zero day. And yeah. we get to meet them, you know, just kind of put our, our warm welcome out to them. Because our Main Street program is just is just wonderful in Heflin, and we have so many fun activities. One of our first hikers happened up on our St. Patty's on Main Day. Oh, okay. You know, we've just had so many that come, and we get to kind of showcase Main Street. Sure. And speaking of that, we have our annual Christmas tree lighting on Tuesday night. Okay. Well, our whole fire department um, takes care of, of the tree, and we add lights each year. We have a volunteer fire department. Yeah. And they, you know, take time and come and work long periods of time to get those up for us and we're, we're so proud of that yeah we get to you know tie it into the hiking never did i imagine the hiking um we have we were already doing you know kayak camps fort building camps all of our the fishing fishing yeah. wild wednesday things we've done here we were doing get outdoor days here different events with the school we're doing here and I didn't imagine hiking when you have the Talladega National Forest in your back door. Well, and you've probably found with COVID, people are anxious yes. and eager to come out. Would yes. you say that your local traffic has increased? Yes. Too? You know, and and a lot of that is a result of social media, which surprised me. Just thought that, you know, the hiking world would maybe be more disconnected, but I was completely no, wrong. No, You know, they yeah. are completely connected. You got to get that Instagram. Yes. <laughs> and the Gut Hook app. Yeah. So Adam got us on Gut Hook very early on. And one of the hikers told me last week, he was like, when you get to Gut Hook and you get to Heflin, it's all these things, all these dots on there, you know, <laughs> of, of places to go and see. And, and, and that's that's Adam. You know, Adam updates that. He puts pictures on there. I don't know and anything about that. I gotta find out about yeah. this. Yeah, Gut Hook well, is is darn it. Yeah, Gut, <laughs> Gut Hook is pretty amazing. Very interesting. It, okay. it really is, and it, it, it talks about water supply, and they just all the, all the waypoints, and yeah. then you can customize the waypoints. Okay. Like you can add like the Heflin Spur. They have the trail, of course, and they have waypoints like a. Where's water? Where's the scenic view? Calhoun Overlook is on there. Sweet Birch Canyon is on there. Okay. The 500 Trailhead is on there. The Heflin Spur is on there. So is then you have the waypoints. You got City Halls on there. Okay. Uh, w M Groceries on there. America's Best Value Inn is on there. So they see it on the map. And they can click on it and it tells you all about that oh, place. Oh, excellent. And then it has comments. When I pick folks up at 500, it's, and, it's, I, and I'll branch out, but usually I don't. And I'll tell them there's no charge, but you have to on gut hooks. Almost everybody uses it. I pick up. Yeah. You have to put nice things about Heflin City Hall. Yeah. He does. Oh, you tell them. He does. <laughs> or WM or uh, other places that they go. That's my charge. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and you also have to get your picture made at City Hall. The Appalachian Trail, which is over 2,000 miles, has a through hiker certification program, and so do the individual states. At least Georgia okay. and North Carolina do. I, I'm assuming Virginia and Maryland has that as well. I don't know. Okay. But uh, there are Penhody hikers that have done through hiker certification on the Appalachian Trail in Georgia. Okay. And I saw his, and I said, this is really neat. Why can't we do one for the Penhody? The Penhody's 350 miles long. Obviously, nothing like the Appalachian Trail in length, but 350 miles is no small amount. Right. So I, th I said, we can do this. The Alabama Pinot Trail Association, which is kind of an overseer of the trail, there's not one, but it's a, it's a major one, which I'm a board member. I approached them. I said, how about if we sponsor a through hiker certification and the city of Heflin would do that? So both groups said, yeah, that's fine. We'd like to do that. So now we started this in February or March, somewhere February of, of this year. Now, one of the points we have in, in this town is we're, we're about a third of the way on the Penhody Trail. Okay. Again, about a third of the way. When I pick up hikers or when hikers come through, I ask them, are you trying to get through hiker certification? So there's an application, but it's just a one-page application that you have to have proof at certain points along the Penhody Trail that you, were, that you were there. Sure. Once we give the okay, then the city council in their minutes has, we award through hiker certification to Tandy Perry on... You know, October on, on November twentieth, two thousand twenty, certificate number eight or nine or four or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So they, they get the yeah. certificate. Yeah. We 
mail it to them or they'll come by and get it. The last hiker, you don't have to. They actually came to the council minutes and they were there. And oh, it, yay. you don't have to do. Yay. And so we're up to number five we've awarded. I've, there's number six will be on December 8th. Oh, excellent. So we hope years from now, yeah. you know, we're at 150 or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But it costs, my thought is, if you can promote Heflin, Cleveland County, and the Penhody Trail and have virtually no cost. Yeah. Uh, it, like I said, it's paper and ink. Right. And you get people coming in wanting to do that. Yeah. Everybody wins. Yeah. It's, I am having so much fun just rediscovering what mm -hmm. Alabama has. And, 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 and that was, that, no, well, that was one of the things that I, that I enjoyed seeing um, during COVID were the families that, you know, and I'm in the world of keeping these families busy. I'm on the other side where these families don't have time together because they are at ball games and, right. you know, and things like that, which they enjoy doing, right. but they didn't have all of that. And you would see families of all ages taking pictures at the waterfall, taking pictures, doing a spur, doing those things together because they were looking for things to do. Right. And they, you know, and they rediscovered Heflin, I think. And, and something and, outside. Yeah, and something outside. You can feel outside. relatively safe. And, and it was yeah. free, you and, know? I mean, and they could go do it together. Yeah. And that, that I, I enjoyed seeing that. That was yeah. one of the positives that I think has come out of, of COVID in our community. We really yeah. want to work on, I know this personally, because I wasn't, a, you know, not as experienced as Adam, but you don't assume that people know how to just take off on a trail. Right. You, you don't assume that people know the markings, because they don't. Yeah and do a better job with our locals, you know, the, the beginning hikers and what to do. And here, if you want to go do this and you have two hours or if you have five hours or, you know, yeah. if you want a whole day hike, this is the kind of guidelines. The Pinhoti is a, is a three season trail. Okay. Obviously fall, winter, cause you know, we have some very pretty winter days and mm -hmm. spring. So from really from October, really mid September through end of May. Okay. There'll be traffic. Not that we don't have it in the summer, but it's just not expected. I wouldn't be doing long distance trails on the pen okay. in June, July, and August, or August, it's okay. still hot. Yeah, yeah. I left something else out fun that we're okay. going to do here. We started having, because of COVID, we started having um, drive-in movies out here. Okay, fun. Um, so that's through our Main Street program. Um, show a Christmas movie yeah. and um, make a little bit of money for Main Street, and, you know, people can still do stuff. We keep a, quite a few things going. A pretty big, for a, a okay, small and can town. people find that on the website? Mm, they, it, yeah. Sh yeah, they can find it. Well, they can find it on Facebook mainly and, okay. and Instagram. Lots of we stuff. love our little. We love our little town. Yeah, and and we love all the Hallmark memories that we can make, That's moments beautiful. that we can make. So, so check out the links below in the description and plan a trip to Heflin. Plan a trip to Heflin. Yeah, just give us a call. Plan it. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, y'all. This is fun. Yeah, of course. Thanks so much for joining us today, and thank you, Tammy and Adam. I look forward to my next hike on the Pinhoti Trail. Remember, you can help support this channel by becoming a Patreon patron or give a one-time gift at travelwithwendy.net slash partner with me. It's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy.